Welcome back to HBL. We're at the PVP Live Studios here in Frisco, Texas. We just saw Nyria get on the board here. His first step towards that reverse sweep. Powder won the first two. Nyria won game three. We're going to be moving into game four now. Yeah, you guys can get out there on Twitter and use that hashtag HBL and tag PVP Live in your tweet. Let us know exactly what you've thought of this match so far. Do these players play a little bit like you, or do you play more like some of the other players in tonight's HBL? You can go check it out uh, on the schedule there at pvplive.net and see exactly for yourself. Also, head over to Facebook, like, and comment on the page. We'll be reading them after the show. Uh, but yeah, Powder just, he looks so wonderful in his first two games, but then when players have their backs against the wall, they'll often go to those comfort spots and handlock right up Nyria's alley. Yeah, absolutely. You know what? You kind of got to feel that it might be the same thing for Powder now. After losing this game, you can kind of feel your grip on this match slipping away, and he might go back to doing something, you know, aggressive or really aggressive here, and Nyria might be able to snipe him. You don't know. I mean, it's going to be interesting to see what they queue up here in game four. This has been super, super interesting uh, on like what they've been doing back and forth. Yeah, we're going to head into this game right now, though. Game four, Powder versus Nyria is getting underway. That's a Hunter deck for Powder, and Nyria's playing Warrior, a control. That's an Iron Juggernaut in his hand. I I'm sorry, my, my jaw kind of hit the floor there for a second. I was, I was, is this, is this real? Are we seeing an Iron Juggernaut here? I mean, this feels to me like a nod that uh, Powder, you know, he expects Powder to play some longer game stuff, and I have to believe that when he sees Hunter queued up, he's looking at this Iron Juggernaut and going, Dang it! <laughs> yeah, you've got to, yeah. Just looking at your opening hand, you see Iron Juggernaut, and your opponent is a Hunter. That's got to be one of the worst feelings in the world. Yeah, Powder with a fantastic start as well. Look at that hand. That is beautiful. But Nyria's got Fiery War Axe, and he's got Harrison Jones. Maybe he's going to be able to fend off this pressure. This hand is angry, Nathan. It wants to kill you very quickly. <laughs> well, I can tell you that who else is angry is this cool Taskmaster. He's going to beat this Leper Noma. He's not going to be able to get back to work when he's done whipping him. Uh, but Nyria going to take two in the meantime. Oh, that's a that's a really bad work environment, Nathan. I don't know if you want to, you know. It's a little hostile. Yeah. <laughs> that scientist is gonna gonna hit the board here and try to get some work done. Maybe. Oh, he's gonna go for animal companion. Actually, like this. Doesn't want his mad scientist to just outright be uh, taken out by this cool taskmaster. And he's gonna have eagle horn bow to follow this up. So Nyria likely. I mean, it, this it's is also it's also a really good play against something like fiery war axe because if you play the mad scientist and they fiery war axe it and then he gets to attack with his cruel taskmaster. If you have like a freezing trap, it feels really bad. Yeah. No, it, I 100% agree with you. Love this line of play from Powder and uh, Nyria, you know, being forced to take, pay a little bit of a price. It looks like the Eagle Hornbow is going to be the play here. This is going to be a great setup for him. Able to start dealing some damage. Mad Scientist is going to become a little bit of a threat because it's going to give that Eagle Hornbow an extra charge. And with that Arcane Golem in his hand, he may be able to start pushing for a lot of damage very soon. Yeah, this Mad Scientist is going to be great here. He's going to be able to play this and use the Hero Power this turn. Great use of his mana because he's got a bunch of three drops in his hand. He can start doing that going forward plus Hero Power. He's going to make sure that he gets these Hero Powers in every single turn that he can because not only is it pressuring Nyria's life total, it makes him have to start thinking about armoring up every turn. If he does that, he can't play a ton of threats, but he's going to play a pretty good one yeah, here. Yeah, and here we go. Explosive trap. Not Get even going to take out this pilot and shredder. Then Harrison Jones killing two charges on an eagle horn bow. This is one of the original intents of Harrison Jones, actually, by the way. Uh, Kit Kats had added this into his deck when Hunter was such a major problem. And since then, Harrison Jones has been at times staples in the metagame, and it was literally meant for this exact situation. Pop a trap, and then uh, take out a two-charge Eagle Horn Bow. And Powder's gonna, you know, keep doing what he does. Just get in there, get be aggressive, get in damage. Nyria already down to 10. There's an Unleash the Hounds, a Kill Command, an Arcane Golem, and an Abusive Sergeant in Powder's hand. He might be able to finish this game off pretty soon. He could be, but this Armor Smith is gonna help back this up a little bit, and Armor being picked up from this Piloted Shredder. He's gonna be able to play this Cruel Taskmaster, add more pressure to the board if he wants to, or he can start swinging this Fiery War Axe. I mean, he's got plenty of pressure himself starting to add to the board. Yeah, but adding uh, all these extra minions is going to make this Unleash the Hounds a lot better. Well, he's going to have to cast an Unleash the Hounds in a turn where it's very clean, though, because if he casts the Unleash the Hounds while all these minions are still on board, he has to face down the fact that all of those are going to be going to Armorsmiths. Now, the fact that he has two abusive sergeants, this may change a few things here, but I like that he's going with Arcane Golem here. Be as aggressive as possible and really put Nyria on the back foot. Yeah, he's going to be able to get in six here from this, uh, from this Arcane Golem and two more from his Hero Power, dealing eight this turn and adding two minions to this board. Nyria going to be able to get some armor back with this armor smith. For all, not, not amazing in this spot, actually. But uh, you, yeah, you're going to see some great trades here from Nyria as well. Or just going to be able to eat these minions and gain some armor back. You're going to, you know, he's at five. You have to believe that he's going to try to gain as much armor as possible this turn. You may even see something like Cruel Taskmaster come in and just get that extra damage in for that one extra point of life. You know, he could also just go for the big Ragnaros shot. That's a possibility here. I was going to say, yeah, he, he does. He would have the 33% chance of, of winning here. Now, if he kills one of his minions, kills another minion, he puts him to 13 and then to 10. He doesn't no, have, he doesn't yeah, have he can't, yeah, he can't make this lethal. Yeah, he's two damage off of really being able to make this lethal. You know, had he played that cruel Taskmaster last turn, this yeah, would have been, done the this cruel would have been really before, interesting, yeah. actually. So, step number one is going to be simplifying this board. 
a little bit, but you know, Ragnaros in this position, he's at six. I don't know if he could, he's gonna play it safe this turn. I can't blame him whatsoever. Harrison Jones gonna come in for five. Uh, this weapon likely to swing for three more points of damage and at nine life, uh, Nyria is not safe enough. It looks like Unleash the Hounds and Kill Command is gonna be a little bit too much for him to deal with. You can see that he's concerned with it and that's gonna be the cruel Taskmaster right here and that's gonna put him up to 10 but that's still not enough. Powder has more than enough damage in his hand between Unleash the Hounds, Kill Command, Abusive Sergeant, and the Hero Power. He's gonna take this series three games to one. Yeah, this is exactly lethal with this Kill Command and this Abusive Sergeant here. This beautiful stuff from Powder in this game. Love the way he swapped up his game plans too. Played some control, played some mid-range. He had the lead, put it to him with a super aggressive strategy. Nyria even came a little bit prepared for it, but at the end of the game, his hand was too heavy. Didn't draw stuff like Shield Block, didn't draw stuff like Shield Maiden. Two cards that are very crucial to winning against Hunter. But he and did draw Iron Giant. <laughs> he did draw He did draw Iron Juggernaut in this game. I'm sorry, Hunt, Iron Juggernaut. Hunter, sorry, yeah. Hunter is one of the last spots where you want to have that matchup go on. So just beautiful stuff from Powder in this one, picking up this match three games to one. And uh, Nyria drops to four and two, and Powder back to a winning record now, three and two. Yeah, and you gotta love that he went back to his aggressive roots there at the end. Felt that Nyria was kind of targeting his change. You know, he changed first on Nyria, and then Nyria, you know, went back around, was like, you know what, I'm gonna go over the top of you, play these big decks, and you know what, Powder got him there at the last little uh, deck switch. Love the mind games that were coming into this strategy. 